Good morning, everybody. It is June 11th, 2018, 602 a.m. You are looking at current temperatures of the U.S. Look at some of these temperatures as we get close to Canada. 44. Uh, even in places of northern New York, we got 40s and low, low 50s up in the northwest area of the U.S. A big moisture system moving down through Oregon right now as we speak, and also some big storms that just moved through uh, the Dakotas. We can actually look at those right now. Uh, northeast has been getting saturated all night. We got like over two inches of rain last night. It's just letting up now, giving us a little bit of a break. Uh, I'm in southeastern Pennsylvania. Uh, we'll back up a few hours and we'll move forward. We can see some of these storms. Now, so one of these storms is right over Illinois here. And then it was moving down through Indiana, Kentucky, now into Virginia, and then back up into the northeast. That was overnight last night, kind of swooping up now. And then you could see this big area of storms here. Um, right now in the Dakotas, moving its way into Minnesota. So the border of Minnesota and um, North and South Dakota. Uh, this is not only a... Um, uh, thunderstorm situation, lots of moisture, but very cool temperatures. Uh, very, very low temperatures. There was even reports of snow in the higher elevations in Utah, near the Nevada area. Uh, very interesting, and also could be more coming with this little system here. So that's what's going on as far as the U.S. goes. I know very quick information, but those are the main situations going on. Some spotty things going on in the western areas of Texas, moving across, actually curling into the Gulf. Now, as far as these hurricanes are going, actually, these are the lightning charts associated with these storms we're talking about. You can clearly see where each of those storms are. It's like one here, one there, one there, and then one that just came off the east coast kind of and dipping back down into the um, Atlantic Ocean. Now, as far as this storm goes that we are looking at in the Gulf that has been a popular topic uh, the last couple days, um, they're not showing as much detail with this storm as they were um, even yesterday, it is more of a tropical wave that we are seeing down in the Gulf right now. We do have Hurricane Bud making its way towards the Baja. And then we had a super, super rapid intensification of Hurricane Aleta. If you guys remember, this storm was the first hurricane of the Pacific season, which is just dissipating now. It's a tropical storm. But check this out. It, uh, during its rapid intensification, there was some major lightning going on in the eye wall. And usually, um, lightning is not that common in the eye wall of storms. Uh, some scientists are saying that the reason for the lightning was part of the rapid intensification of this storm. This thing got all the way up to Category 4. A very strong hurricane was no threat to land, but yet for the Pacific Ocean in those cooler waters, very, very strong storm. And now we have Hurricane Bud, uh, which is also rapidly intensifying. Um, they're saying it could rapidly intensify uh, greatly in the next 24 hours. So if we back up Ventu Sky here, we can see Hurricane Bud right here. Uh, this is current time right now. We have Aleta out uh being moved away from Mexico as far as um, now it's a tropical storm rather and then we have Hurricane Bud which is expected to rapidly intensify and move straight up towards the Baja region uh, eventually bringing rain to uh, possibly Arizona and Mexico this thing may come right up here and it's gonna hit land obviously it's gonna weaken ra uh, rather quickly um, in the Baja and then up into this area but they were showing a, a cone of uncertainty that brought it right up into this area even Albuquerque um, in New Mexico could possibly get rain from this storm if it continues on its path. So, uh, once again, though, in the Gulf, uh, the charts are showing, the Canadian model showing a tropical wave as far as the weekend goes. Uh, not that wave, actually. We've got to move back a little bit more. We're at the 11th today. Here's the 11th. Here's Hurricane Bud. I'll move forward for you guys. And then you can see this is the wave that we're looking at right now that would be at the Leeward Islands in the, by the day after tomorrow, covering the entire area of the Leeward Islands all the way underneath uh, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, and stretching underneath um, Cuba as well. And that is the wave. Now, there's still a very good chance this thing may form, but it just looks like now it's dipping down into the Nicaragua area, and then it kind of becomes a, a mess on land, and then up into Cancun, and then possibly into the Gulf. But this is the current update on this storm. You can see it trying to wind up right around there, right over land by Cancun, and then we'll see what happens once it gets into the Gulf. We'll check the European model as well. We'll back this up. We move forward. Here is Bud right here. This is now current time, the 11th, and we can see that wave wants to come up around the 15th, according to the European model. And then finally, we'll look at the GFS. 
uh, which has been a little crazy this year, but nonetheless still very much um, a useful tool. We're going to use it. We have to use it. There we go. Sorry about that. And you can see Bud right here in the corner. Here is the wave we are watching. And actually, I'm sorry, that is Bud. That was a letter you just saw. This went back to the 8th. We're at the 10th now. There is uh, Hurricane Bud. And now the 11th. 12th, here is our wave that they were talking about being coming in a hurricane in the Gulf going towards Texas. And as of right now, they're showing it as a tropical wave. So uh, that is also according to Ventu Sky. So um, the threat is not gone. I don't want anyone to uh, misinterpret what I'm trying to say here. But what we do have clearly is a tropical storm, which was a letter that, was, that reached Category 4 speeds. Now we have Hurricane Bud also heading towards the Baja, and we have a tropical wave with two actually tropical waves behind it. So that is why I'm still very concerned about this storm. Um, it may not be this wave that turns into a hurricane, but the next two that are coming, the dust coming off the Sahara is um, absolutely insane right now. It is reaching all the way over into the air to uh, the tip of South America. So that sand is coming off of the Sahara. It is coming out this way and following this path, the same path that the hurricanes follow. And a lot of scientists is believed that those molecules of dust and particles actually aid in the formation of hurricanes. The same thing happened last year. Once we saw that stretch of sand come off of the west coast of Africa, we started seeing just a pile of storms moving west to east all the way to the Leeward Islands, and then they would pick and choose. Depending on the uh, jet stream and the pressures, they would come up the east coast or get into the gulf. And we had 10 in a row last year, starting right around this time, guys. So this is when we need to keep our eyes out. Sorry I've been gone for the last couple days. Had some stuff to do. You know how it goes. But uh, we are back, and this is our latest update. So I hope everyone has a great day. There's an article here on weather.com. First article you will see about the rapid intensification of Aletta from the GOES satellite, the GOES satellite 16. And that is that. Uh, we will update Hawaii later on in the afternoon. Here's an infrared version of the storm from Thursday. And you can see those purples popping up. That is all lightning. Very rare in the eyewall of the storm. You usually get the lightning on the outer bands of the storm. But during that rapid intensification, there was lightning in there, almost like a power charge. So very interesting stuff, very interesting article. All right, guys, have a great morning. I will talk to you all this afternoon, and welcome back. Happy Monday. Take care. Bye-bye.